All right, back at it with a quick little test driving through some windy, fairly skinny roads because they've turned a lot of these city roads now into pretty large bike lanes on the side. And I'm all for biking and making sure there's bike lanes, but I don't think we need these huge bike lanes that have cones and it just makes the actual driving lane a bit smaller. But full self-drive so far has been able to handle that just quite well. Uh, now we have a left turn here against a steady flow of traffic. And if I zoom out there, the traffic actually um, has a, a turn. So you don't have a ton of visibility into where they're coming from. Um, so you do need to make a pretty quick decision here before you actually turn. Um, and there's also people that are, I don't know why they're in both lanes, uh, but handle that just quite well and into a parking lot. I'm gonna cut out the parking lot piece and cut to a little bit more city driving so you can all see just how well it handles lights and stop signs and all that good stuff.